should offer plenty and it's Atletico Madrid who get things underway. And this is the starting lineup for Atletico. Jan Oblak gets the nod in goal. Rodrigo de Paul starts alongside Jeffrey Condogbia in the centre of midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Reynildo. And return to Koke. Condogbia. Joao Felix. In it goes. An early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Parejo. Jeremy. Perfect challenge. Carrasco. That's a useful cross. Two goals in rapid-fire fashion and looking very comfortable here. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Felix. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? It's a weighted pass. Chance to reduce the arrears. A goal as they cut into their advantage. Still plenty of life in this match. So there we have it. 2-1. It's a good-looking Atletico move in the making. Oh, it certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. Lo Celso. And here's Gerard Moreno. Could cross it in here. Moreno. Big chance to get them on terms. Terrific save. Intercepting it intelligently. Well, that was a great save. But the way they're playing at the moment, the equaliser can't be far away now. Joao Felix and very deftly cut out the tackle completely mistimed and you would expect a booking under the circumstances Lo Celso and a tidy tackle. Rodrigo de Paul. Oh, is he going to be punished here? Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Well, not the best piece of distribution we've ever seen. And that'll be a throw in. Contogbia. Parejo. Pedraza with it. Now Parejo. And the emphasis is on creativity. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Joao Felix. Happy just to retain the ball in their own half and draw out the opposition. Rodrigo de Paul. Marcos Llorente has it. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Well, that's going to go down as offside. Well, he couldn't quite release it quickly enough, and the flag went up. Pedraza. It's with Parejo. And time is up as far as the first... And return to Koke. Well, they've got things going again here. And I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us.
And he stopped them in their tracks. Morata. Well, a lot to like about Gerard Moreno's first-half performance. Interested to get your take. Yeah, he's done okay in that first half. He's had a lot of the ball, he's used it well, and he's been energetic. But unfortunately, that can't be said about the rest of the team, who need to improve if they're going to turn this around. Could play it in. Joao Felix. And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. A little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. So there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Marcos Llorente. Will he play it in? He takes aim. Nicely saved. So the corner played into the box. Still not clear. And they got into that crossing position, but dealt with defensively. Well, the stats don't lie. It's been all Atletico Madrid so far, and it seems only a matter of time before they do get another one. The defender put in the challenge, and it might be a red card. And in the refereeing trade, they call it Dogzo. Denial of a goal-scoring opportunity. Well, the referee's got that right. He saved a possible goal there, but at a cost. And a long way out here. And disappointingly, straight into the wall. Had to come up with the ball, and did. And a goal! There he is, at the double. They just can't subdue him. And the game has been restarted. 3-2 here. bad pass Pau Torres Giovanni Lo Celso oh good vision well good technique in terms of how he struck it Koke the ball with Condogbia Carrasco and played in under pressure can he do it oh a moment of pure class had to catch it perfectly and didn't he just so the current scoreline 4-2 tremendous ball played through still a chance and relief as the keeper holds on. Well, he reacts so quickly, doesn't he? That's a great bit of work from him. Joao Felix. Now can they counter clinically? Beautifully disguised ball. The supporters want to see him have a go. They've got themselves back into it. A lifeline in this game. And this could be a dramatic finale. Well, if you enjoy high-scoring contests, this has been the game for you. Joao Felix. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Just unable to get his cross beyond the first defender. Well, the fans believe there's hope here. Can the players respond now? Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books and return to Koke.
unstoppable, and you can understand why. Two high-level sides about to face each Hello, wherever you're watching from the Spanish Basque region, this is the Estadio San Mames in Bilbao. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Athletic Bilbao facing Barcelona. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great... Great opportunity! And he read it well defensively. Williams. And now Raul Garcia. Can they convert? And that would have been quite the early boost for them. Well, it may be early in the game, Derek, but that chance has to be taken. It's a poor finish. Well, let's run the rule over the Athletic Bilbao starting lineup. Yeray plays with Inigo Martinez in central defence. Ander Herrera starts alongside Dani Garcia in central midfield. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal scoring threat. And here's the starting 11 for Barcelona. Marc Andre Ter Stegen in goal. Frankie de Jong plays with Franck Yannick Kessier in the centre of midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Under Herrera. Determined defending. Keeping it on the ground, slightly off target, however. Under Herrera. A oh, very effective play in possession. Williams. Real chance. And there it is. 1 0. The Reverts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. And Barca get the ball moving once more. How will they react? I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. Lewandowski. And that pass could be troublesome. And it's Barcelona's turn now. Kunde. Kessier has it. They've got it now. What can they do? Dembele. Lewandowski. And the referee says penalty. An opportunity to level matters. In it goes. Carly converted. So on the way again here on the back of that leveler. Williams. Well read to ease the pressure. Kessier. Barcelona now in potentially a dangerous position. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Williams. It's with Garcia. Under Herrera. An incisive pass. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. And so the first... And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they weren't so very evenly matched. Possession one. 
Williams. Dembele. This looks threatening. Brilliantly blocked. Well, is it going to be a productive moment for Barcelona? Corner. Keen to take it short here. Ferran Torres. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. And given away. Robert Lewandowski illuminating in the first half of this game, Stuart. Well, he stepped forward for his team with the equaliser. It could prove to be the key turning point in this contest, as they haven't been at their best today. You do feel they need to find another gear in the second half, though, if they are to go on and win it. Effective challenge. Williams. Via Libre. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. And Barcelona winning the ball back. Garcia. Not much time to make up his mind. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Herrera. And return to Williams. Lewandowski. Rafinha. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Let's fly here! Well, that's how to hit them. Not quite accurate enough, though. Well, what a goal that would have been. Surprised he took it on, to be honest. Long way out, but oh, so close. And into the last 20 minutes. And he's in. Keeper did his job to begin with. Well, threat over for now. And space to cross it. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Rafinha. On to De Jong. Marcos Alonso. De Jong. Now with Cassier. And Athletic with the ball again. Barcelona on the front foot in anticipation of scoring the winner. Can he put them in front? Brilliantly blocked. Well, what a final few minutes we have here. And the fans are certainly playing their part. But can they take one of these chances that come their way and win this game? A Barcelona corner. Will they be able to cash in on it? And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. Well, I thought that was game over. It's a great save from the keeper just to keep them in this. Well, not out of the woods just yet. This still could be dangerous. Kessier. Really good interception. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Marcos Alonso. Well, the referee blows the whistle. Nothing to the...
It's always a great privilege to be here in the Spanish capital, Madrid, and especially so when Atletico take on Barcelona. My name is Derek Ray, and my co-commentator on this occasion is Stuart Robson. Stuart, what should we be looking at for today? Well, Derek, I'm always intrigued by this game. Two teams with totally different philosophies, so this should be a very good contest. Sergio Busquets. Very quick thinking there. And this is the starting lineup for Atletico. Jan Oblak stands between the posts. Marcos Llorente starts with Yannick Carrasco on the flanks. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal scoring threat. Barcelona free kick. It'll be here. And the Barcelona shape looks like this. Marc Andre Stegen in goal. Frankie de Jong plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And leading the attack today is Robert Lewandowski. Alvaro Morata, a wonderfully driven forward. And Stuart, you would have to suspect he's going to have something to say for himself here. Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Dembele. De Jong. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Condogbia. On the ball, Joao Felix. Oh, he's lost possession. An example of how to press. Lewandowski, just the challenge that was required. And he could run onto it here and collect it tidily. He had plenty to think about. Sergio Busquets. Now Busquets. Went in strongly, decisively. A chance to whip it in. Morata and now was Joao Felix Contogbia must take the lead here Contogbia with it opportunity Carrasco and a goal now they've broken through 1-0 here and back underway and that should really shake up Barcelona a bit you would think Joao Felix and Morata can he put it in what an important piece of defending Rafinha Dembele well, time just challenged magnificently can they take advantage it's there for him able defending but can they keep it out That's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Morata. Rodrigo de Paul. And so it is the first half. Well, it's advantage Atletico after the first 45, but there's a long way from being settled. Llorente. Well, he really read that brilliantly. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Can they take advantage of the situation? Big chance to get them on terms. 
couldn't grab hold of it. And there it is, a goal! I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper. So the ball is rolling again at one all. De Paul. Wonderfully weighted pass. But mistimed his run. Well, he's got the timing all wrong there. He just needs to bide his time. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. De Paul. And given away by Lewandowski. Frankie de Jong. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Pedri. And back with Busquets. De Jong. And here's Dembele. And this time it's in! Fabulous goal! And just look at the celebrations! So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. Llorente. Now possibilities in the centre. I just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. 20 minutes to go. Tempele. Well, nothing productive, really. Well, the Atletico fans are really getting behind the team here. But will it be enough? What a finish we're going to get to this game. Rafinha. Now Busquets. Well, nicely cut out. Morata and played in well such a high degree of difficulty not quite in the end well how good was that it's such a difficult piece of skill which he made look so easy that deserved a goal 10 minutes to go then Sergio Busquets well that's how to keep the opposition at bay Sergio Busquets. Well, on the dying moments of this game, and Atletico with it all to do, you've got to say, Stuart. Well, if they want to get something from this game, they need to start getting the ball into the box that little bit quicker and get players attacking the ball. Otherwise, this game will just slip away from them. Textbook defending inside the box. Breaking at pace. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. And that is that. Very satisfying.
contest begins. And this is how Atletico will line up. Jan Oblak gets the nod in goal. Stefan Savic starts with Jose Maria Jimenez in the centre of defence. Rodrigo de Paul starts alongside Koke in central midfield. And Morata is the main striker for this match. Moreno. Morlanes. Dan Yuma. Capu now. Well, the attack looks promising. Koke. On the ball, Joao Felix. And given away by Atletico. Etienne Capu. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Morata makes it count. Well, as pure finishers go, there aren't many better than this man. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Gerard Moreno. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Danjuma. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Morales. Oh, great defending. Rodrigo de Paul. Carrasco now. Koke. It's with Hermoso. Beautiful pass. Morata is up there. And there to intervene. Etienne Capu. Gerard Moreno. Capu now. Molanes. Etienne Capu showing patience, looking for the equaliser. Moreno, can he get them level? Well, what an opportunity squandered. Far too easy for the keeper. Well, as you can see, Atletico are struggling to control possession, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Etienne Capu. Dan Huma. Morlanes. Capu now. Getting the better of his opponent. Good defending in the end and danger averted for now. So almost at the break here, and not quite going to plan for the home side. What to do, Stuart? Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity, they can certainly turn this around. And with that, the first half action is over. It's half time. Well, it's advantage Atletico after the first 45, but there's a long way from being settled. Raul Albiol. Moreno. Lastly, time tackle. Morata. Well, Alvaro Morata is a player greatly admired by coaches everywhere. A lot to like about his performance so far, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. 
I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. And continues his run. Really vital interception here. Dangerous looking through ball. Couldn't quite hang on. Well, they can keep possession now. Morales. Chukwueze. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. And an astute piece of defending. Joao Felix. Koke with it. Reguilon. And a poor ball. Morlanes. They look as though they want to make this move count. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Carrasco. And space here on the flank. And still trying to get the shot off. OK. Well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. Well, the fans are certainly playing their part here. Just listen to this noise. Carrasco. Reguilon. Superb effort to keep it in. Out of play and an atleti throw-in forthcoming. And very deftly cut out. Etienne Capou. Chukwueze. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. And he's retrospectively awarded the free kick now, having tried to give them the advantage. to have a go here and that is goalkeeping of the very highest order taken short well just listen to the crowd they know this is a big chance to equalize wonderful chance and touched onto the frame of the goal and it's gone over the line Now still pressing for a goal here. A very timely interception. Rodrigo de Paul. And a bad pass it was. Morales. Hermoso and just one minute of time added on for stoppages and there goes the final whistle much to the disappointment of their supporters
Contest begins. Well, let's run the rule over the Athletic Bilbao starting lineup. Inigo Martinez plays with Yerai in central defence. Ander Herrera starts alongside Dani Garcia in central midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. And an astute piece of defending. And this is the starting lineup for Atletico. Jan Oblak is the preferred keeper. Felipe plays with Stefan Savic in central defence. Koke starts alongside Rodrigo de Paul in central midfield. And Morata is the main striker for this match. Well, showing good patience. I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes finally. He's got the right idea with that pass. Sunset. De Marcos. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. And mopping up defensively. Atletico might fancy their chances from this position. Not troubling the keeper. Can they forge ahead? Good work to regain possession. The referee has decided to give the free kick to Atletico. He'll have a go here from a long way out. And how close it was. Well, when you can strike a ball like that, it's always worth a try. Sunset. Bad challenge. And now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Williams. Still passing it around with authority. But then the one that fails to hit its target. Felix 
He's in behind. And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. So underway again here. 1-0 the score. De Marcos. Atletico regaining possession here. Felix. On to Koke. Can he take the chance? And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. Sunset. Well, as you can see, Bilbao have enjoyed most of the ball, but most of their passing has been in deeper areas. Unless they start getting it into their front players with better quality, they'll struggle to turn this one around. And Athletic did well to win back possession. Oh, what an opportunity! And he struck the post. Well, threat averted. Well, they're so unlucky not to be level now. It was a great effort. You just wonder if they're going to regret that. A oh, terrific pass. And a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. 2-0 now and back underway. Under Herrera. Via Libre. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. And that's going to close. The ball rolling again, with Atletico having already made a big first half statement. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Oh, he's really opened them up here. And that is the sort of tackle he had scripted in his mind. De Marcos. That's very effective use of advantage in favour of Atletico. Joao Felix. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Danny Garcia. It's with Williams. Just cutting off the supply. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Opportunity it is. There it is. A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn the ball is rolling again 2-1 the scoreline now well Molina beautifully disguised ball he read the situation defensively and did his job sunset Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Could be! Oh, a goal! They've done it! Quite the comeback, this! Well, they've really got to give credit to the entire team, because this was a bit like climbing Mount Everest. Rodrigo de Paul. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. Koke. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Not the best challenge, free kick. Yerai. Herrera. Williams. It's got to be. Oh, could you imagine a connection? More pure than that! Simply out of this world! Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that 
might well be the decider. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. Well, very effective play, and they might be onto something. And the counter attack is on, options available. Well, it petered out. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. Williams. Just the challenge that was required. Oh, that's an interesting pass. A corner then, and with time running out, they've got to ask questions. Can he find the net? And not quite accurate enough, Stuart. Well, I think he should do better there, but at least they're now knocking at the door. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. And there it is, the final whistle, and the fans will be leaving the stadium with...
Three boxes, Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Celta Vigo up against Real Betis. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And the keeper got there, and comfortably. An important interception. And slipped through beautifully. Will he finish? And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1-0. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. A fine reading of the situation. And a throw in for Celta. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. This looks threatening. And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. Nabil Fekir. Oh, superb skill. William Carvalho. Extremely sloppy in possession. This looks more than decent. Out of play and a Betis throw in forthcoming. Not showing good defensive judgment. Canales. Has a go. And the keeper stretching to deny him. Corner kick played in. Renato Tapia. Well, the hosts, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. Oh, Stuart, they could be in here. Real chance. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Determined defending. And out for a Celta Vigo throw. Hugo Mayo. Jurgen Strand Larsen. And he read it superbly. There's a slide draw pass. Oh, it's mischievous. Well, well, that wanted to put too fine a point on it. That goes down as a tame effort and easy for the keeper. Well, spot on with that challenge. Can he 
get one back? So the sound of the half-time whistle and slipped through. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Oh, lovely ball. Well, nothing comes of it in the end because the flag has gone up, Stuart. Well, he knew where the space was, but he's just been too eager and that's why he's offside. William Carvalho. And he read it well defensively. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. And he's in. Was it the denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity? If so, he's off. No-nonsense clearance. Lost possession. Sabali. A very timely interception. A oh, terrific pass. Well, he had just gone beyond the last defender, Stuart. Well, that's a real shame because the through ball is really well weighted, but he just took too long to play it. Well, great read there to intercept. Teammates available. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Well, letting it continue to see if, in fact, there was an advantage, but not so. Free kick. The supporters want to see him have a go. Well, you could hear the fans imploring him to shoot. He might think differently next time. Well, from there, with not too much pressure on him, that's a poor attempt. It's well wide in the end. Canales. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Fekia. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Oh, showing excellent vision. Iago Aspas. And it goes. Well, it's one goal performance is this going to be a thrashing 3-0 now Oscar just the challenge that was required so almost at full time and the home side very much in command Stuart what have you made of their overall performance well what can you say about this performance they've been absolutely brilliant They've played with such guile and creativity, and their passing has been so expansive. Not oh, many opportunity here, Stuart. And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. So there it is, 3-1, the current scoreline here. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And they know they need to stop him. And the corner has been given. And over it comes. And the corner far too close to the goalkeeper. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here.
The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the... And slipped through... Stadium in Andalusia, the Estadio Benito Via Marin here in Seville. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking, of course, about La Liga. It's Real Betis up against Real Sociedad. 
Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And given away. Alexander Surlot. Marino. And Betis did well to regain possession. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. And a very good challenge. It's a neat move. The high press was very much on. Borja Iglesias. Can they create something from here? Big chance. And there it is. The breakthrough. That will do nicely. And back underway. And 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Camarasa. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Great effort to keep that one in play. Oh, good use of the ball, but then the one that goes astray. Camarasa. Camarasa. Oh, could be. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. 2 0 now and back underway. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Camarasa. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Iaramendi. It's with Mikel Marino. Might be a chance here. They've got it now. What can they do? Munoz. A wonderful intervention. Alex Moreno. Useful looking ball. Oh, it's gone in! A significant deflection, leaving the keeper flummoxed. Blistering first half display, and just look at that score. Camarasa. Underway in the second half, and after such a lopsided first 45 minutes, is it possible to think they could turn this around? Well, he stopped them in their tracks. He takes aim. Oh, and that's a fine save. Corner kick played in. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Priority was to hang on to the ball, which he did. Well, as those stats tell us, their attacking play today has been exceptional. Defenders have come out at the right time. The midfielder completely dominated the game. And the front player's movement has been excellent.
Well, that'll be a free kick. Goro Sabel. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. William. Borja Iglesias. It's with Camarasa. Firing it in. Just made sure nothing came of that. And keeping it out. An important interception. Difficult to stop him. Yaramendi. And he takes on the shot. Can they keep it out? Well, threat over for now. Well, I still can't believe that didn't go in, Derek. What an incredible save. Well, in possession now and looking to create something of their own. Well, he had the scent of a hat-trick in his nostrils, but not this time. Well, he keeps getting into good positions. He'll surely get another chance before the end of the game. Alexander Surlot. Takafusa Kubo. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Camarasa. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Camarasa. Well, that after the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. And it was on the target, but the keeper up to the task of saving it. Played over. Well, it still could be dangerous. Herman Petzela. The high press was very much on. Foul there. Free kick awarded. Nothing wrong with the idea on the free kick, but the goalkeeper has it. Camarasa. Nicely cut out. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. Well, nothing comes of it in the end because the flag has gone up, Stuart. Well, he knew where the space was, but he's just been too eager, and that's why he's offside. Teammates available and able to get a body in the way. And all the way through it goes to the goalkeeper. There will be one minute added on at the end. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home.
talking, of course, about La Liga. It's Real Madrid up against Real Sociedad. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Nicely timed tackle. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. David Alaba plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. Luka Modric plays with Toni Kroos in the centre of the park. And the main goal-scoring threat provided today by Karim Benzema. An incisive pass. Vigorous defending. And overcame the ball from the flank, but dealt with in the end. Delightful pass. Well, marginally wide. So, so close. Mikel Marino. Bryce Mendes. Takafusa Kubo. An important interception. Benzema, can he give them the lead? There it is, a fantastic goal, and no wonder he's off celebrating. And the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Tony Kors. And now Rodrigo. And they need to get tighter. Across, Latin guile and accuracy. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. David Silva. And the ball with Sir Lott. Good work to regain possession. Tony Kors. Easy save. Promising pass. Marino. On to Silva. It's looking promising. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. But it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Well, there you can see Real Madrid haven't been able to control possession. But when they have won it back in midfield areas... Oh, wait a minute, Stuart. Opportunity! And couldn't keep himself onside. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Could pick out a teammate. And brave goalkeeping to deal with the danger. Well, he had to get that right, didn't he? That's good goalkeeping. Kubo. Goro Sabo. So, on the cusp of the half-time interval, and Real Madrid with a narrow lead. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen from them in this half? Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. And that is that half-time here. The ball moving again. Real have the lead, but they won't be taking anything for granted. Has eyes for goal! Can they stop it going in? Read it well. Well, what a great save that was to keep them in this. May just be the impetus they need, as they certainly haven't been at their best today. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here.
Silva. Will he play it in? Oh, great defending. Karim Benzema. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Mikel Marino. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Not a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Oh, is he going to be punished here? And still looking to get the shot off. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Moving forward effectively. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Modric. Now high quality defending. Takafusa Kubo. Disappointing that it's gone out of play. Carvajal. How can he take them on and beat them? Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Goro Sabel. An effective challenge. Can they create something from here? Tremendous block. Course. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Now we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. We'll take it away. He won the ball. And level it is in the closing moments. Can Real Madrid change that? Well, it didn't worry the keeper. Silva. In possession, Mendes here. Many. Well, Rail have to score soon. Time is running out. But these fans can... Oh, see Stuart, they might be onto something here. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Vinicius. Can he finish? And a goal! At this stage of the game, it might be decisive. And just look at their supporters. And that is that, the end of the game.
underway and here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid Thibaut Courtois begins in goal Nacho Fernandez plays with Antonio Rudiga in central defense Vinicius Junior starts with Marco Asensio out wide and the main goal scoring threat provided today by Karim Benzema Renato Tapia and it wasn't a great pass, was it? Attacking possibilities for Real. Asensio. Not well, a classic example of how to intercept. Benzema. Oscar. Tapia on the ball. Hugo Mayo. It's with Oscar. Running with the ball confidently.
Vinicius Jr. Benzema! And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. 1-0 then. Servi. Read it well. Cabajal. Not showing good defensive judgment. Carvajal. An incisive pass. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Javi Galan. Tapia on the ball. Joseph Aidu. Here's Hugo Mayo. And moving the ball nicely. Iago Aspas. Well, there you can see Real Madrid haven't been able to control possession. But that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace. Surely! And that was simply miles off target. Well, I think he's right to go for power, but he's made the wrong connection, and it's really poor technique in the end. Javi Galan. Oscar. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Well, trying to take their time, but not enough care on the ball. Tony Kroos. Vinicius Junior. Asensio. Oh, he's gone for goal. Well, taking on that shot and not missing by much. Well, that would have been an excellent goal, but it means everything is still up for grabs here. Jürgen Strand Larsen. This could be the equaliser. Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? Oscar. Iago Aspas. And the referee has given them a corner. And the short option preferred. It looks promising. Brilliantly blocked. Referee's whistle then, bringing to an end. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. And he read it superbly. Now, let's see what they can do here. Renato Tapia. It's with Oscar. Servi. Had to come up with the ball and did. Well, Marco Asensio is well capable of bossing any game, and Stuart, that's exactly what he's doing this time round. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Eder Militao. <laughs> Modric. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Carvajal. Now with Benzema. Asensio. And it's gone in! The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. 
so underway again and a 2-0 advantage here well that's how to keep the opposition at bay Vinicius Junior can he finish what a lovely strike lethal piece of finishing drilled home with true conviction tremendous goal so on they go again and every indication that Real are going to stroll to victory here Servi Javi Galan Perez oh a lovely ball and in oh yes exactly what they were hoping to produce they've delivered the goal so there it is 3-1 the current scoreline here and into the last 15 minutes of action well, as you can see, the hosts have really dictated the play. But most of their passing has been in deeper areas. Unless they start getting it into their front players with better quality, they'll struggle to turn this one around. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? Modric. Can he finish? Oh, really close. Just failed to keep his attempt down. Perez. Jürgen Strand Larsen. A really sumptuous ball. Well, it comes to nothing in the end. Offside. Well, he doesn't need to make his movement quite so quickly there. Just let the ball be played into the space. Tony Kroos. Karim Benzema. Well, we've entered the final five minutes. Karim Benzema. Here's Vinicius Junior. Oh, so near, but just unable to keep the shot down. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Really good interception. Beautifully disguised ball. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their support.
And the match is underway. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Nacho Fernandez in central defence. Marco Asensio plays with Vinicius Jr. in the wide areas. And beginning the game up front today, Karim Benzema. In behind for him to chase. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Benzema! Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Trying to deliver it accurately. William and Real Madrid have it back now Benzema seducing with his passing and a goal just what the fans wanted to see the ideal way to begin and the ball moving again what sort of response will we see from them now not showing good patience Benzema's pass, not accurate enough. Tony Kroos. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Loren William well, this could pose problems for the defenders a bit sloppy in possession just failing to hit the target with his pass and it'll be a throw in Camarasa and he read it well defensively. And scope for them to produce something exciting. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. So almost at the break here. And not quite going to plan for the home side. Work to do, Stuart. Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attacking third. If, however, they can be more dynamic in the 1v1 situations, they have the quality to turn this around. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Camarasa. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Vinicius Junior. Benzema. And just over the bar, albeit narrowly. They've given it away. Promising looking ball. Surely. Strong hand on that one. And the keeper was finally able to claim it. Well, what a great piece of goalkeeping. First... So, back underway. And an intriguing second half in prospect. Benzema takes it forward now. And he might be through here. There it is. And he could scarcely have had an easier finish. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2 0. Loren has a go. Well, it might still work out for them. 
And problem solved for now. Vinicius Junior. Well, he's given us away. Just lost his focus. Throw in here. Borja Iglesias. Camarasa. creative look about this well this would help them get back into the game foiling his opponent completely Camarasa and it might be tenacious tackling excellent defending there Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Lovely ball over the top. Well, the decision is offside, and he's bound to be a bit disappointed. Well, he's actually made his run before his teammate had control of the ball, and that's why it's offside. Top-class defending. Asensio. An alert intervention. 20 minutes to go in this one. Tony Kroos. The high press was on and the chance is on. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. Now oh, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Well, nearly there. This game almost over. And looking at the fans, Stuart, they appear to me to be more than a bit gutted. Well, I think they've been a bit unlucky today. They certainly haven't been two goals worse than their opponents. But in key moments, they've just been found wanting, particularly defensively. Oh, they could be in here, Stuart. And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. A chance to whip it in. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. Benzema. Tony Kroos. Well, that pass easy on the eye. And he didn't hesitate. Good thing, too. Well, he's so quick off his line. That's great goalkeeping, you have to say. Now, options are plenty. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Camarasa. Oh, showing excellent vision. Just couldn't capitalise there. Well, a piece of quick thinking by the keeper. And the referee says that will do it. It's the end of the game.
This is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Step by step The clock is ticking But there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul Football fan looks forward to a lot on the line and the likelihood of a... And hello to you from a city that's never short of style. I'm talking, of course, about the French capital, Paris. We're at the Pat de Pass. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And coming up, live action from Liga. technically speaking, one of the finest leagues in the world. It's Paris Saint-Germain up against Monaco. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. And in with a real chance. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Ben Yedder. Ben Yedder! Oh, did so well to deny him. And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Sergio Ramos plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Marco Verratti starts alongside Fabian in central midfield. And in attack today, Kylian Mbappe starts with Lionel Messi. Fine cross into the middle. That's all they can conjure for now. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Mbappé. Mensch, Ferreira, Fabian, good work from Monaco to win it back, well he tried to put everything into the shot but couldn't find the target, not great from the keeper, Garavin Enrique the attack continues they're making considerable progress and disappointingly not even close to hitting the target there yeah he was looking to open up his body guide it into the corner but he's got it all wrong it's a poor attempt in the end well, couldn't quite find his teammate Verratti Given away again. Neymar. Well, possession seeded. Golovin. 
Crossing opportunity. Can he find the net? Oh, it was close, but he's put it over. Messi. Well, they couldn't keep possession. And below. Well, that's one for them to pursue. And he's missed the opportunity to net the opening goal. Well, it should be 1-0, Derek. You can see how frustrated he is with himself. Hakimi. Mbappe. Possession lost by PSG. Really nice ball. And thumped away. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And no luck keeping possession. PSG looking dangerous but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Could be a chance to break here. Well, it was a good counter-attack in the making, but very alert defending. And attempting the through ball. Embolo. And so the half-time whistle is gone here at the Parc des Princes. So here we go, the stars of the second half at the home of PSG, the Pat de Pras. Embolo. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Vitor Ferreira. Not giving their opponents a moment's peace. And that was a very fine read. Very quick thinking there. Might take the lead. It has to be. to make contact in that fashion and it's one of the finest goals you're ever likely to see simply stunning and the advantage is with PSG he has time to play it over will he find the net? oh incredible save and he snuffed out any sign of danger breaking at pace not what he was intending bad pass and he's broken free. Lionel Messi! And it goes to square the game! What a contest this is turning out to be! So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Useful looking ball. Can they forge ahead? Chance missed. And a big chance at that, Derek. He should have put them in the driving seat there. Vitor Pereira. Neymar. No foul. PSG advantage. Not a great pass. Wonderfully weighted pass. Tries to lift it. Well, choosing to chip. And it wasn't so very far away. Well, it was good vision, excellent technique, but not quite the end result it deserved. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Messi. Can he finish? And searching for his second, but the keeper equal to the task. Well, he's looking really lively, isn't he? Every time he gets the ball, he looks a threat. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. 
It's Neymar's corner. Braille Embolo. Went in strongly to win the ball. Fabian. PSG on the attack as the minutes stick away. What can they do in the closing phase? And that's a straightforward stop. Ben Yedder. Couldn't keep it. Oh, great defending. And maybe a chance for PSG now from this corner. Well, the fans are certainly having their say. Just listen to them. Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And it wasn't a touch and save. Real Embolo are getting it forward but they need an equaliser and the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time and mopping up defensively it will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick and that will be all three points for PSG that's the good news for them
Well, it's always a great pleasure to be here in the Côte d'Azur region. We find ourselves in Monaco with football action on the menu. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live coverage of this Ligue 1 match. It's Monaco facing Montpellier. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before... Is it going to be... Well, quite simply, not precise enough from that position. Kevin Folland. Jean Lucas. Ben Yedder. Nicely timed tackle. Lucas Alexander Galavin has it well, they might be onto something and still danger here and there it is a goal I must say much to the annoyance of the keeper so underway again here 1-0 the score determined defending tremendously strong in the tackle the referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Kusa. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. And he takes it on. Well, no mistake from the keeper, acting decisively. Jean Lucas Saar now Embolo could play it in Ben Yedder and under pressure that was a fine claim Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Ben Yedder. Golovin. Superbly read and executed. Jordan Ferry. Mabadidi. Jordan Ferry. And he's gone for power. So close to finding the net. Galavine. Jean Lucas. Well, the attack looks promising. Offside the decision. Jordan Ferry. And support available, but nothing comes of it. Garavine. Kevin Follant. Dolavine. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. So the whistle. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Can he put them in front? Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. Ben Yedder. Might be a chance here. 
And the keeper nowhere to be found, not that he's complaining. So back underway at 2-1, tight contest here. Wabi Hazri. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Volant. In below. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. And now the delivery. No real challenge for the goalkeeper. Mavididi. Oh, they have it again. Volant. Really vital interception. Jordan Ferry. He must finish. Oh, wonderful goalkeeping. Well, you have to say, from that sort of distance, that's a wonderful save. And cleared away. It's one corner after another. And the danger's still on. And below. Well, capable of so much better, to be honest. Well, I expected more as well, Derek. I thought from that sort of position, he had every chance of scoring, but it's a poor effort. Perfect tackle. Crucial interception amid impending danger. Whatever way you look at that, it's been squandered. Jean Lucas into the final 20 minutes it needs an accurate cross fine tackle there to prevent the chance and threading it forward oh but there's defensive diligence for you when things look dangerous Enrique Alexander Galavin has it the attack continues they're making considerable progress opportunity to deliver the cross well the threat was very real marvellous defending 10 minutes to go and the counter attack is on options available well, do they have it in them to level this? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, shortly we'll hear the final whistle. The home side with the lead. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, they've certainly controlled the tempo of the game and just about deserve their lead. But they've got to keep their concentration right oh, to the on, end Oh, hang on, Stuart, it's a chance. Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Well, the keeper had a lot to do. Well, it's a great piece of goalkeeping. So quick off his line. And then the perfect position to read it. And we will have just one additional minute. Could pull one back here. And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. Didn't quite go to plan. And that will be all for this game. Defeat for the visitors.
And this confrontation is underway. Cabela. Bamba. Body in the way. Now, let's see what they can do here. What a shame that he couldn't find the target from there. Well, the fans are certainly having their say. Just listen to them. They thought that was a penalty. He's got to score! And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. And over it comes... Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat, and when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. David. Bamba. Well, decent save there. Keen to take it short here. Oh, he's given it away. Gomsch. Oh, could be. And it's come off the keeper. And he clears it out of harm's way. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Must be! And there it is! The opening goal! 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it! 1-0 then. Excellent defending. Bamba, and played in. Well, nothing comes of it. Real chance. Oh, there it is! A back and forth on the match. Now they're level again. The lead lasted nearly minutes. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Kosa. Can they create something from here? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Space afforded him. Well, lovely work to get past his man. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? to be advised giving the ball away in that position and it wasn't a taxing save and he's won the ball well very effective play in possession so a throw in here it looks promising this could be the equaliser. And the referee has pointed to the spot. He's given the penalty. And now, let's see if they can level it up. Chance to equalise here. Goal! Taking aim from the spot and finding the target. So underway again at 2 all. That is that. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway.
Arnaud Nordin. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Straight offside, but only just. And he did well to cut it out. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, he was excellent in that first half. He almost ran the game at times with his passing ability. Unless he's marked better in the second period, he'll continue to dictate the flow of this match. Top class defending. And attempting the through ball. And he's found a bit of daylight. And a goal! In the lead again! Fully deserved! You can't really say defences are on top. 3-2. Well, foul play, says the referee. Not a good pass. And into the last 30 minutes now. Bamba and possession lost intercepted and the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack can he convert no problems for the keeper Gomes Jonathan David Good tackle. Steffi Mabadidi in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. This could square the game. Can they slot it home? And teammates around him. And he read it well defensively. Well, they're creating chances. They now just need to take one of them. Mind you, what a save that was. Just 15 minutes remaining. A danger here as he runs at them. And reading it absolutely superbly. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation. Attacking, the... still a chance. Well, they survived the attack. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Misfiring completely. Yeah, he's gone for power, but the contact was never right. It's a poor effort, really. Bamba. Jonathan David. Useful looking ball. Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. So the current scoreline, 4-2. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And that will be all for this game. Defeat for the visitors, that's the big...
commenced here in Paris and here's how the lineup looks for PSG Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal Sergio Ramos plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence and in attack today Kylian Mbappe starts with Lionel Messi Messi and he's won the ball Bayou. Oh, big chance! There it is, and he could scarcely have had an easier finish. Underway once more, and it's going to be interesting to see whether or not PSG can articulate an appropriate reply. Mbappe. Danilo Pereira. Now with Akimi. Messi. Can they find a gap in the defence? Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. Akim Zedadka. Out of play. PSG throw in forthcoming. Read it superbly to take back possession. an interesting pass chance maybe well that's the end of that for now well the keeper deserves a lot of credit that was a fine save wasn't it moving the ball forward with purpose well from so far out it didn't appear to be the high percentage option close though Stuart well he did have options but that was a good effort in the end he wasn't too far away was he I'll take it away, he won the ball Ismaili now with Gomez and fed forwards 
Nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Marco Verratti. Verratti. Neymar. Verratti now. And back with Neymar. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Ismaili. On to Gomez. Bayou. And this could pose problems for the defenders. Well, deemed to be offside by the merest of margins. Well, it's very close to being the perfectly timed run. But whether it's an inch or a yard, he's still offside. Neymar. Crucial interception amid impending danger. Ismaili. And intercepted it. Neymar. Angel Gomez. Well, that's a super ball over the top. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. Playing it short. Bamba, really important piece of last-ditch defending. Neymar. Going well. And Gomes, using his body to good effect. And that is that for the first half here. Well, the ball is moving again, and work to do for Paris Saint-Germain in the second half. Perfect tackle. Just cutting off the supply. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Sarabia. Well, the attack grinds to a halt. Offside. Bamba. Chance here. Just missing narrowly on the volley. Well, it's a fantastic effort. Difficult technique, but he caught it so well. He's unfortunate. Nuno Menge. And a timely intervention. And Neymar. Textbook defending inside the box. And no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper. Marco Verratti. Back to Hakimi. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, can they draw level here? The crowd certainly thinks so. Verratti. Ramos. Terrific piece of anticipation. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Adam Unas. Another perfect position to read it. Well, it stopped a promising attack in its tracks. And you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. Well, it would have been a chance, but the run was mistimed. Offside. 
Messi. And return to Mbappe. Big chance to get them on terms. Well, the attack will peter out. Keeper's ball. Angel Gomez. It's with Smiley. Gomez. PSG chasing this game. They're not out of it. But they took care of the situation defensively. Good technique displayed. Verratti. And that's an important intervention. Unas. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. And so into the final five minutes. Well, what a brilliant atmosphere we've got here. These PSG fans deserve an equaliser, that's for sure. They've made so much noise. Well read to ease the pressure. This might be ideal for the counter. Oh, what an opportunity. It has to be, surely. Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking... And there it is, the full-time whistle here, and it's a victory for...
And coming up, live action from Liga, technically speaking, one of the finest leagues in the world. It's Monaco, and they take on Lille. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Diakite. Can he find the net? In it goes, an early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Excellent defending. Takes the shot. Priority was to hang on to the ball, which he did. Ganavin. Really getting stuck in. Enrique. Now, let's see what they can do here. Embolo. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Cabela. Diata. It did look on for them, but not to be. David. Andre with it. Diakite. Bamba. Putting his body on the line. Oh, from miles out, he's done it! How about that for a pure strike? Terrific technique! Wondrous! So, back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. Embolo. Ben Yedder. Is it going to be? A goal! As they cut into their advantage. Still plenty of life in this match. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Diata. Then you dare. Good work from Lille to win back possession. Well, there you can see it. The visitors haven't been able to control possession, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Now, options are plenty. Andre Gomes. Cabela. Patient build-up at the moment. Options in the centre. Unas. 
Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Oh, a fine block. Corner conceded. It came off the defender. And short it is. Unas. And block for now. Yusuf Fofana. Embolo. Enrique. A chance then for... So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Braille Embolo. And he read it well defensively. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Then you're there! Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Well, we Sam Ben Yedder stamped his authority on the first half. What did you make of it, Stuart? Yeah, he's done OK in that first half. He's had a lot of the ball, he's used it well, and he's been energetic. But unfortunately, that can't be said about the rest of the team, who need to improve if they're going to turn this around. This could level it. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, he should score from there. That's a wasted opportunity. He should beat the keeper from that sort of distance. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Could be able to close down the shot. And he takes it away. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Magnificent defending. Diakite. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Do they have the guile to up and up the defence? And the counter-attack came to nothing. Well, really, it had to be further away from the keeper. Yusuf Fofana. And he saw the situation developing. Bamba. That deep delivery. We just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. Well, the fans are driving their team on here, but can they respond with a goal? Time is running out. Ben Yedder. Still trying to make something happen. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Just 15 minutes remaining. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Andre Gomes. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. Well, it was such a fluent attack, but they couldn't apply that finishing touch. Well, not the finish he was looking for, but there's another example of their ability on the counter-attack. So, out of play and a throw-in here for Lille. André, clean challenge. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Embolo, and return to Ben Yedder. Spot on with that tackle. Ben Yedder, and no way through. And he's lost custody of the ball here. Galavine. And here's Ben Yedder. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. And a decent delivery. 
And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for.
No matter where they are on the table, this is the fixture that gets most French football fans. You might say this fixture amounts to tradition meets modernity. Marseille versus Paris Saint-Germain, and our venue is the Stade Vélodrome. My name is Derek Ray. Stuart Robson is with me to provide expert analysis. How do you see this one going, Stuart? Well, I think it's going to be tight. When this is full, there is no better atmosphere. And today it's rocking for the visit of bitter rivals PSG. This should be a really good game today. Simple catch, really. And here's how it looks for Marseille. It's the impressive Pau Lopez between the posts. Valentin Rongier plays alongside jean dan Verretou in central midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Alexis Sanchez. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Oh, fancy footwork. Has eyes for goal. Well, hit with power and almost the right precision. And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Sergio Ramos plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Vitor Ferreira starts with Fabian in the centre of midfield. And leading the line, Lionel Messi plays alongside Kylian Mbappe. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. And keeping it out... Now the delivery. Well, he really is class personified. Hang on, Derek, what a chance this is. He's foiled them on his own. Sound piece of goalkeeping. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. Nuno Tavares had a chance to whip it in here. Rogier. And nicely struck. Well, I gave him the big build-up, but the keeper has it comfortably. Messi. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. Fabian. And Neymar. And a very good challenge. Fabian. Here's Mbappe. Useful looking ball. He's in behind the defence here. And not cleared away properly. Well, they can keep possession now. And take it away. A foul, but advantage played. He got a good palm on it. Now the teams are locked together. Will it stay that way following this corner? Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Long way out, this. Decent effort there. Well, he has such good technique. He really did hit that well. He certainly came close there. Mbappe. Wonderful vision from Lionel Messi. Well, not making life difficult for the keeper at all. A wide attempt. Well, it's been a frustrating day in front of goal for PSG. They've missed so many good chances, which is a shame because their attacking play has been excellent. Well, now on the ball, can they add a bit of danger to the mix? Opportunity it is. Can he find the net? And there it is. Neymar has done it to put his team in front. And so Marseille get the ball moving again. Can they find a response here? Mbappe. Well, the attack grinds to a halt. Offside. And good use of advantage, the referee allowing play to continue. Harit. This could square the game. We just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. And so there it is, the first half. Well, they get the ball rolling again. Paris Saint-Germain with the advantage but no room for complacency. 
Valentin Rogier. Good effort here! And not quite accurate enough, Stuart. Well, I think he should do better there, but at least they're now knocking at the door. Given away by Verratti. Gendouzi. Excellent first half showing from Neymar in this game, Stuart. Well, Derek, after a slow start where it was tightly marked, he got better and better as the first half went on, and he got his reward with that goal. I'm looking forward to his second half display. And it's a quality pass. And it! Watered by the post. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. And it! Well, they were so close to the equaliser there. They're certainly a bit unlucky, but they need to make more of these chances. Well, they can't dwell on not getting the rub of the green. Perhaps they can create another chance now. Sanchez, big chance to get them on terms. And a goal, the equaliser. Superb entertainment. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. This might have potential. Well, possibilities inside the box. Can he get them the lead? Going for the dink. Oh, football finish, and it's very best. You can't argue with that finish. Disappointing for PSG to concede the goal. Now let's see if they can attack with vigour. Mbappe. Oh, he's given us away inexplicably. They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. So back underway, the game having been squared at 2 2. Veretu. Just not looking confident in possession. Well, a joy to watch. There could be trouble here. He's already been cautioned. And they need to get tighter. And I say we'll get the throw in. Well, the fans are going mad here. They think that was a penalty. And he takes on the shots. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. Verratti. Neymar. On to Messi. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, closed down straight away. Ten minutes left for play. It's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Hakimi. Neymar. Vitor Ferreira. He's got the right idea with that pass. And the ball's gone. Well, Marseille have to score soon. Time is running out. But these fans can sense a winner coming here. And out for a throw-in. Just misfiring with the pass. Oh, is he going to be punished here? And a really good diving stop. And now a corner. Can they take advantage of it? And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop and then the reaction. And that is that. The 90 minutes have come and gone.
A big night at a great venue, the Parc des Princes, here in the French capital, Paris. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And what we're getting ready to bring you is live action from Liga. It's Paris Saint-Germain, and they take on Lille. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Marquinhos plays alongside Sergio Ramos in central defence. And in attack today, Kylian Mbappe starts with Lionel Messi. Nuno Menge. Neymar, using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. David. 
Oh, lovely incisive pass. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Verratti. Bayo. Good use of advantage by the referee. Well, it was one foul too many, and the referee simply had to blow for the free kick. Just not looking confident in possession. Mbappe. Marquinhos. And Neymar. Oh, big chance. And a goal. Now they've broken through. 1-0 here. So underway again here. 1-0 the score. Well, that is how to play advantage. Mohamed Bayo. Well, Kimpembe was on top of it. Neymar. And attempting the through ball. And it goes! Two goals in rapid fire fashion. And looking very comfortable here. We're back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Bayo, just the challenge that was required. Making progress, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. André, Mohamed Bayo. Weah, and nicely struck. Well, the shot looked promising, but the keeper had the measure of it. Well, those stats tell us that PSG haven't dominated the ball, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Well, that's right, preserving the lead and doing it really well. And ball back with PSG now. Hakimi. Verratti now. Messi, Sanchez, well read to put an end to that attack. Timothy Weah. And Lille struggling to keep hold of the ball. Inching towards the interval, and it's going with home advantage. Stuart, as always, very keen to get your take. Well, from an attacking point of view, it's been a very good performance. I've really liked the way they've got the ball from back to front, then how the forwards have got away from their markers and the speed of their attacks as well. It's been a really impressive first half. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Neymar, body in the way. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. And given away. Well, couldn't bend his run, and the flag went up. Timothy Weah. Here is Andre Gomes. Ismaili. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? Unas. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Nuno Mensch. Can he find the right pass? And a decent delivery. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Renato Sanchez. Verratti now. Ramos. Marquinhos. Marco Verratti. Mbappe. And Lille have it back now. And into the last 30 minutes now. And Renato Sanchez with it now. Possession lost by PSG. André. It's 
struggling to keep the ball and a good looking ball well not cleared away completely and in the end no damage done André Diakite and it's André now crossing possibilities element of risk there but he's won the ball just 20 minutes remaining now now can they counter clinically Mbappe he's in behind in it goes but wait a minute that will not count well that was tight but he was just offside it was a good finish though and Neymar really nice ball and the keeper's in trouble and keeping it out the delivery from Neymar. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Renato Sanchez. And PSG pushing forward with options available. And he's made headway and read the danger magnificently well if he gets this wrong a penalty and a sending off but he was spot on with his challenge Gomes it did look on for them but not to be can they do something positive on the counter attack well, so many possibilities but it didn't happen for them Gomes. Well, great read there to intercept. Well, not far away from the final whistle and PSG very much in control. Yeah, this has been a good performance. They've looked really sharp going forward and they've shown a lot of energy. They'll certainly be pleased with their overall display up to now. There will be one minute added on at the end. Options in the middle. And that will be all. Three points for PSG. That's the good news for them.
And the match begins. Under real pressure here. Andre Gomes. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? And take it away. Adam Unas. Unas. And here's Andre Gomes. Can they take the lead? A truly magnificent start. An early goal of the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. 1-0 then. Promising possession, this. Oh, a powerful effort. Close. Not a good pass. Ben Yedder. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. André. Diakite. Unas with it. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Embolo. Golovin. This could level it. They had to react and did. And he takes it on. And it goes. The leveler. Thrilling stuff here. So a level contest. 1 1. Unas. Keeping it on the ground, slightly off target, however. Well, the ball lost here. Braille Embolo. Failed to keep hold of it. Galavine. They need to get tighter here. Well, disappointing end to the move. Plenty of support here. A really sumptuous ball. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Keen to take it short here. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Shot attempted. It could be up for grabs. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Jonathan David. Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. Well, maybe a chance for them now to alleviate the pressure. Unas. Well, he didn't miss by much, but full marks for trying. And the whistle is sounded for... Into the second half then. And these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. André. Unas with it. And attempting the through ball. Oh, so close to opening up the defence. Well, that's a super ball over the top. 
Magnificent challenge to win it back. Andre Gomes. And they could face difficulties here. Really well hit, but just too much height on it. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. And I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. Well read to put an end to that attack. Throw in here for Monaco. I think the referee was spot on there. A free kick in the end after he had attempted to play advantage. David. And it's Andre now. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Vignadere! Chance maybe. Well punched away by the keeper. And a big moment because the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty coming up. This to put them in front. And in it goes. As coolly as you like. Never in any doubt from the spot. Well, Lille have had more of the possession, as you can see, but they've shown a real lack of invention today. One or two of their more talented players need to step up now to get them back into this game. That's right, and priority number one here is to win the ball back. Great pressure to win the ball back. Over the byline, hence a goal kick. Andre Gomes. Can they trouble the opposition this time? And Gomes, making sure it didn't get past him. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Oh, that's an interesting pass. And the ball is loose. Well, nothing untoward happened. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Gomes. Cabela. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Bamba. Andre with it. David. Top class defending. Five minutes left. Adam Unas. And giving the ball away. Golovin. Cutting infield here. Goodness gracious me! How about that for technique? So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Trying to deliver it accurately. And the danger's still on. He got in the way of that cross. And that is going to be that. Well, a tale of woe in terms...
anyone to get off their darkest ground The gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too against Monaco. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Could be! And still an opportunity. Fret over for now, it seems. Can they convert? And unable to keep possession. And here's how it looks for Marseille. It's the impressive Paul Lopez between the posts. Jordan Veretout plays with Valentin Rongier in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Mina Mina. Well, possibilities in the centre. Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should... Oh, could be! Foiling his opponent completely! Alexis Sanchez. Not high-quality defending. Embolo. On the ball, Diata. 
And the attack looks promising. He's got to score! Oh, good work by the keeper. Genghis Under. Now Vertu. Now with Genghis Under. Kolasinac. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Options in the centre. Can he put them in front? Can they cover up? Well, they can keep possession now. Enrique. Mohamed Kamara. Mbolo. Nicely timed tackle. Moving the ball forward with purpose. But they took care of the situation defensively. Vertu. Now Kolasinac. Moving the ball effectively. A chance now with the corner. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. Able to get his body in the way. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Takumi Minamino. A move of promise on the flank. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Well, offside, and we could have made that decision from up here. Luis Javier Suarez went in strongly to win the ball. Mina Mina. Embolo. Well, a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Kolasinac. Well, time is up as far as the first. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Very quick thinking there. You might say he'll be happy with some aspects of his performance so far, but not every aspect, Stuart. It certainly wasn't his best half of football. He was slightly off the pace, and he gave the ball away too easily at times. But we know he can do much better, so I'm expecting more from him in the second 45. And it crossed the byline, a goal kick as a result. Far from a good pass. Genghis Under. On to Bailly. Issa Cabore. Valentin Rogier. Now with Bailly. Alexis Sanchez. Now with Rogier. Losing possession a bit easily. Under. Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? And a short corner here. And the throw in coming up for Marseille. Valentin Rogier. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. But it was a good looking sequence, but it comes to an end.
Alexis Sanchez. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Into the final 20 minutes. And that'll be a Marseille throw-in. Cabore. Now with Cengiz Under. Valentin Rogier. And successfully cut out. Camara. Mohamed Camara. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. Luis Javier Suarez. Now with Rogier. And a goal at this stage might well turn out to be decisive. Vertu read it well. Well, can Marseille create one more big chance to win this game? If they do, this stadium will erupt because the fans have been brilliant so far. Now, options are plenty. Rogier. Can they forge ahead? Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Caio Enrique. It's a weighted pass. And below. A wonderful save to keep it level. That's a wonderful save. He was so alert there. Well, the two sides still locked together. And a set piece, a corner, can make all the difference. Growing pressure here. And another corner taken short. He must finish. Oh, blocked it. They cannot be separated here, and it's off.
Thank you.